So in the new reality that we live in, for me, one question that I really think about a lot is how can we bring music into regular engagements, virtual engagements? Because in my mind, as you said, music is such a beautiful catalyst to take people, in, people into mood. And there's thousands and thousands, actually, I don't know, even know the number of millions of Zoom meetings happening all the time. How can we use music as a way to transform people's mindset? Because ultimately, if I recall correctly, your purse your purpose in life is to elevate consciousness. Actually, I'm kind of oh, raising human potential through music. Thank right? you. So how do you do that at scale now that you can literally be global anywhere? Curious to know your thoughts about, about living your purpose through this new virtual environment. I think what you have to, first of all, let's talk about the sandbox, right? You know, when you tell kids to play in the sandbox, the sandbox is maybe 10 feet by 10 feet. There's a certain amount of sand in it and you have your pail and you have your shovel and kids for the next hour, you're in the sandbox. You cannot leave the sandbox. A zoom call is like the sandbox. Everybody, your, your face is going to be in a square. We're not even going to see your hands. We're just going to see you from the, from the waist up. And we're going to see all the books in your bookcase, or, or we're going to see another background of the Golden Gate Bridge because you like that Zoom background, right? Uh, <laughs> right? That's the sandbox, right? So I'm going to ask everybody, take care of your sandbox. Think about your sandbox, you know? I have a studio here in LA that I, I have artwork in my box. I have, the, I have my piano with me. Think about your sandbox because now... Remember in the old days before the pandemic, the way you would present yourself is you had the ability to show up uh, in FaceTime on your iPhone. You would show up in person and you would, people would see how you dress and people would smell your cologne or your perfume and they would look at your shoes and they would see the car you drove. And it, and it was just a year ago when it was important to show up in a certain combination of fashion and style. Well, guess what? Most of that's gone out the window. People are wearing their pajama pants. They're, they're sitting, you know, they got a sweatshirt on. The lighting's bad. <laughs> they, they're not using headphones. They're talking through the computer, right? There's a lot of things that are happening now. So I'm going to tell people, take your sandbox because you only have a little square and people have to get a feel for everything that used to deliver fashion, style, communications, presentation. And right now it's astonishing. You see people showing up pretty sloppy, not taking care of themselves. And it speaks volumes, even if their credit credibility is, is great. We live in a world now where the camera is, you know, I'm talking to this little green dot right now. And the green dot is, is the world that I'm speaking to. So you got to make love to the green dot and you got to, you got to present yourself. The other thing I would like to encourage everybody is have a way to show your hands. Now, I'm, I'm, I use the piano in a big way. There you are, CK, you got your hand. You will be shocked with how many people are not showing their hands. And the hands, I mean, if I want to emphasize something and I put my hands into my style of communication and I talk about moving forward or do mm. we retreat or do we move forward? The fact mm. that I can do this as I'm communicating is mm. really different than me being up on my camera and not being able to do that. Mm, mm, mm. That's the difference.